welcome to your new Kia e-Nero. Today we're going to run through some of the key functions and features of your new car to help get you up and running. To start with, you unlock and lock the car using either the buttons on the key or by pressing the buttons on the handles with the key on your person. The charge port can be located on the front of the car and is unlocked with the central locking of the car. You open the flap by pressing it here. To charge the car, simply insert the charging lead into the top part of the socket. To release the cable, press the unlock button on the key. You will hear the cable unlock and then it can be simply pulled out. The second part of the socket is for rapid charging at somewhere like the motorway services. You remove this bottom bung here to show the combined CCS socket. All of our cars are supplied as standard with a three pin charging lead that you can use to charge your car from any main socket. This cable you will find in the boot of your car when delivered to you. While we're in the boot of the car, it's worth mentioning that the roadside tire repair kit can be found under the boot floor. Moving into the car, the first thing to note is the car is equipped with a proximity key which just needs to be present inside of the car in order for you to be able to switch it on. To start the car, apply the foot brake and press the start button to the left of the steering wheel. You will know the car is on and ready to drive as there is a green car symbol displayed on the left of the dash screen. The car is now started but it remains in park so it isn't going anywhere yet. To put the car in gear, apply the foot brake and move the gear selector clockwise for drive or anti-clockwise for reverse. The gear you are in is displayed on the centre of the dash screen. The car has adjustable regen braking settings which are controlled with these paddles behind the steering wheel. The higher the regen, the more the car will brake for you. The left paddle increases the regen, the right paddle reduces it. The e Nero has an electronic handbrake which will automatically disengage when you touch the throttle. To reapply the handbrake, you pull the handbrake switch upwards and the red light on the dash indicates it is applied. Please note, the car will creep forwards like a traditional automatic unless it's in its auto hold mode, at which point it will only creep forwards once the throttle has been pressed. To select auto hold, press the button above the handbrake. You will know it is set in this mode as auto hold will be displayed in the centre of the dash screen. If you have the car set in auto hold mode, the handbrake will be automatically applied when the car stops and the brake pedal remains pressed. You can control the wipers using the traditional stalk on the right of the steering wheel. The wiper rate can be adjusted by clicking the switch on the front of the stalk. The rear wipers are controlled by twisting the end of the stalk. The rear screen wash is activated by pushing the stalk away from you and the front washer by pulling it towards you. The left stalk is indicators and headlights, push the lever away to set full beams and a quick pull towards you to flash. Fog lights are also controlled here. Your adaptive cruise control functions are on the right hand side of the steering wheel. You press the mode button and then set to activate, then you can adjust the limit using the up and down plus and minus toggle switch. The button bottom left enables you to set the distance you want to keep between you and the car in front. It can be deactivated at any time by pressing the brake or mode button. This button to the right of the steering wheel can be used to deactivate your lane assistance system. If it is active, it will be displayed on the dash screen. The screen display behind the steering wheel can be altered pressing this top button on the right of the steering wheel. It will scroll through the on-screen display and then the arrow toggle switch is used to scroll down through the options. You press this button to select something. It is in here you can reset your trip counter as well as view other driver info. I suggest you just take a little bit of time to familiarise yourself with the menus and set the options to your preferences. The left hand buttons on the steering wheel can control your media, voice activation and phone. You adjust the climate control using the controls located in the centre console. Press auto to turn it on and set it to your preferred temperature. You also have the heated seats and heated steering wheel buttons located by the gear selector. The EV button located by the heater controls is useful as it brings up the screen that displays how full your battery is in percentage terms. Plus on this screen you have charge management where you can set your car to charge at certain times such as to take advantage of cheap energy tariffs. You can also set departure time for your car so it can warm itself up before you leave for work for example. The drive mode button allows you to switch between eco, normal and sport driving modes, depending on how zippy you wish the car to be or how much range you want to get from it. The infotainment system is a touchscreen and you can use the menu buttons on the touchscreen or the physical buttons beneath it to select things such as radio, media and sat nav. The setup button also brings up a variety of vehicle settings, including the ability to set up Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. To connect your phone to the car, Go back to the home menu, all menus and select phone. You access your radio by pressing the radio button, 
When you click list, it lists all of the radio stations here and you can add them to your favourites by clicking the plus button. If you have any media connected to your car, you can access that by pressing the media button and your sat nav is accessed using the nav button on the right and it's a very intuitive, easy to use sat nav in the Kia. To program in an address, click address, type in the postcode, click OK, click set as destination and then simply click start. Favourites is where you can store your home address and other important regular locations. You simply press the button and then type in the postcode or select the location and then save. The setup button brings up a variety of vehicle settings you can adjust and customise. There are too many settings and functions to go through within the scope of this video. What I would recommend is you just spend half an hour or so just pressing all of the buttons and getting used to the menus. Once you've concluded your drive, press the park button in the centre of the gear selector pull on the handbrake and then press the power button to turn the car off. I hope this short video helps get you up and running with your new Kia e Nero. If you require any further assistance, please don't hesitate to get in touch. We're always very happy to help our customers. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy your new car.